Hey, what's up, interwebs? Welcome to another episode of the Scruffy Talk Show. Hope you enjoy. Hey, what's up, internet? Scruffy Talks here. In news this week, a homeless person walked into a pet shop and stole a ferret. The thing is that he stole it by putting it down his pants. A 17-year-old witness confronted the man in the parking lot and was bitten by the ferret after the homeless man shoved it in his face. The man is being charged with stealing, and the police force have said that the ferret could be stayed stated as a special weapon so the man is also facing battery charges too <laughs> how is this guy going to pay for this he's homeless i suppose they'll have to put him in jail i think he just wanted a friend anyways in other news we all know carjackers are good at driving right wrong a carjacker in western australia must not have completed a driving license or something because she and two other women stole a car and the driver only got 150 meters before she figured out that she couldn't drive a manual witnesses called police and the three were arrested so little tip if you're going to hijack a car make sure you can drive both a manual and an auto otherwise you're stuffed also in news a chinese man was forced to climb out the window and onto an air conditioner naked after the lover's husband came home to discover his wife sleeping with this man he was stated as saying that none of his neighbors would speak to him anymore he even saw and heard people laughing and taking pictures of him because of the way that he looked he was also stated as saying i have to point out that it was a cold day it isn't yet known if there'll be punishment placed against the man what a douchebag. That also opens up a new segment. I've decided to trash the RIP Rest in Peace segment, which was the first only owner of the Little Mermaid one. So RIP Rest in Peace is gone, and now we're just going to have, uh, like, normal, like kind of like what SXE Phil's got. You have the douchebag of the day. I'll have that on most of my videos. And I'll have the question of the day, which will be on all my videos. Um, and this guy, this Chinese guy, is definitely our douchebag of the day. Um, but the picture that they were taking, I uh, actually have a picture. So the picture for this story is over here in the description. And now I need something to do with Halloween. Since a week ago when it was on, I never said anything about it. And I finally found some news on it. There was a big Halloween party on with a heap of elderly people last week and 19 of them got out on a big balcony and it ended up collapsing. There were injuries but no one was killed. So it just goes to show, reinforce your balconies people. Also, there are also uh, pictures of some of Hollywood's most scary celebrities. Not in the Halloween form from last week though, just every day. But the links to those pictures and any of the other stories we talked about here today are over here in the description. But today I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave you uh, YouTube with the question of the day for today. The first or well, second everyone, everyone. And I want to say, what would you have done if you were the man that came home and saw that Chinese guy in your bed? What would you have done? I want to know. Uh, but in but in that that's really all that matters to me on this Saturday, seventh of November, two thousand nine. I'm Scrappy Talk saying, see you tomorrow, YouTube. Scruffy talks. His hair's not scruffy. Scruffy talks. His hair's not scruffy. Scruffy talks. His hair's not scruffy. Scruffy talks. Scruffy says rate, subscribe, comment.